Hello, dear respected students. Today's our lecture will belongs to discussing two syndromes, lung cavity syndrome, another name is lung abscesses, and syndrome of pathological bronchial dilation or bronchial ectasis. Let's start from lung cavity syndrome or abscess formation. Uh, an abscess is a limited focus of necrosis of the lung tissue filled with liquid purulent content. Lung abscesses are, as you see here, formated uh, as a result of uh, a result of fighting between the macroorganism and microorganism, and as you see here on picture, the focus is surrounded by a dense rim of leukocytes. Around the focus, the lung tissue is sclerosed, forming a smooth walled cavity uh, delimited from a healthy lung, and uh, uh, which condition uh, needs. Uh, which condition needs a uh, lung abscess formation? Of course, this in one hand is uh, immunodeficiency stages of, uh, of my microorganism, and on another hand, uh, high virulence of microorganism uh, that uh, caused inflammation of lung tissue or pneumonia, uh, and in uh, many cases, as combination with inadequate treatment, which caused the melting, necrosis, and autolysis of lung tissue. If patient's immunity system is so weakened that it's unable to localize a pathological focus, develop lung gangrene. It's another um, pathological um, type uh, of um, purulent disease, of lung purulent diseases. Uh, lung gangrene is an uh, unlimited putrefactive necrotic, uh, necrotic lesion of lung tissue within a whole lobe or more. Uh, in abscesses, purulent detritus in the abscess cavity contain many proteolytic enzymes and other biologically active substances which destroy the lung and enlarge the abscess area. After two to three weeks, the abscesses break through or rupture it into the nearest large bronchus. Some of the content getting into the lumen of bronchus are coughing up. The result is uh, a cavity with a horizontal liquid level. Abscesses can be single or multiple. You see here multiple abscesses. There are two big abscesses. One abscess before rupturing or before breaking through the bronchi and another abscess break uh, um, into the bronchi. Uh, how this infection can get the uh, uh, get lung tissue by several mechanisms. First is bronchogenic mechanism uh, may occur during aspiration, inhalation, post pneumonic or obstructive mechanisms. Hematogenous by blood uh, due to thromboembolies or septic apiomias. A traumatic is very rare cases and from border tissue and organs related to direct transition of sep <clears throat> of um, separation from neighbor, neighboring or contact by contact, uh, organ by organ, or lymphogenous mechanism. Etiologically significant microorganisms are causative agents of pulmonary destruction and lung abscesses, uh, staphylococci, and clostridia, pneumococci, and uh, fungi. Uh, separately, it is uh, wolf uh, high lightning. Um, tuberculosis abscesses caverns. They are formed in patients with pulmonary tuberculosis with weakened immunity as a result of caseous necrosis of lung tissue. The gradual flow of caseous muscles into the uh, draining bronchus determines the content um, infectiousness uh, of patient. Most common localization of tuberculosis Tuberculotic cavernous is um, in the apex of the lungs. There are three stages of uh, formation of cavity. First, of course, this inflammatory infiltration of lung tissue, or we call this pneumonia stages. Next is formation of cavity filled with pus and uh, uh, rupturing into the nearest bronchi. And the uh, third stage accuse obliteration of cavity with the formation of area of neomosclerosis in case of adequate treatment. Clinically, uh, we distinguish two stages before uh, uh, breakthrough the bronchi in the bronchi and after. 
The lung abscess syndrome before the breakthrough in the bronchus is characterized by a pronounced inflammatory syndrome with severe intoxication, hectic fever, and reaction from the blood shift uh, of the leukocyte formula to the left, higher leukocytosis, and significant acceleration of ESR. And frequent shallow breathing without a respiratory pulse is character. The severity of shortness of breath depends on degree of intoxication and size of damaged lung tissue. When involved in peripheral inflammation of pleura, chest pain occur. When breathing, this indicates a subpleural location of abscesses and the uh, possibility of its breakthrough into the pleural cavity with the occurrence of a serious complication like pleural uh, separation, separation or empyema. And due to compression of surrounding bronchi or involvement of pleura, a painful dry cough may appear. Depending on the size and location of pathological focus, uh, you, can, uh, uh, you can find a limitation uh, of mobility of uh, affected lung, a weakening of vocal parameters over the abscesses uh, since the affected area of lung is not uh, aerated and dullness of percussion sound is determined over an airness focus surrounded by healthy lung tissue and during auscultation you can find uh, that breathing is weakened or inadequate. Uh, physical changes depends on the size and location of abscesses. Uh, for example, if abscesses are um, localized, uh, localized closer to the pleura and closer to chest wall, of course, you can uh, clear detect this um, or this uh, physical data. Breakthrough in the bronchus of abscesses is characterized by significant decrease in the syndrome of inflammation and intoxication and pronounced subjective relief, characterized by the simultaneous discharge of large amount, full mouth, smelly, sweetish, uh, green, purulent sputum, sometimes sputum bloody, rusty, sometimes with blood. With prolonged sending, the sputum is divided into three layers. Upper one is uh, crumbly, um, uh, scrums of lung tissue, fibrin, uh, threads. The um, middle one is serous and the lower is purulent. Uh, increased focal or uh, vocal parameters appear during palpation when percussion above the smooth walled cavity of open abscess. A tympanic sound uh, occurs um, or a tympanic tone of uh, pulmonary sound. If patient opens his mouth wide during percussion, then a resonant phenomenon occurs and the tympanic becomes louder and higher. Sometimes when percussed over cavities with a uh, thick smooth wall, tympanic can acquire a metallic tint. An auscultation over the cavity um, communicating with the large bronchus, emphoric breathing appear. Additionally to emphoric breathing uh, may be heard medium and large bubbles, bubbling rails. Emphoric breathing can be uh, simulated by uh, blowing over the neck of bottle. A laboratory diagnosis gives us a changing of blood test with the um, uh, exacerbation of course formated leukocytosis with ne uh, neutrophilic uh, shift, increasing ESR and sometimes anemia. Hypoproteinemia uh, may be found. Uh, it had uh, connected with the losing of proteins with sputum uh, with the amount of sputum of 500 milliliters per day up to 50 grams of protein is lost and uh, also prote hypoproteinemia uh, connected with the violation of protein synthesis in the liver due to intoxication. Of course increase uh, level of C-reactive protein and other um, intoxication uh, inflammation proteins. Microscopically and bacteriological examination of sputum has uh, uh, changing like uh, 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 formation of uh, leukocytes, appearing of leukocytes in uh, sputum, erythrocytes or RBCs and also elastic fibers. So this is a representative of destruction of lung tissue. Bacteriological examination reveals any pathogens. 
and of course uh, we uh, use uh, use the x-ray chest x-ray and you see here cavity formation opacity round shape opacity uh, limited uh, with the um, fibrotic capsule and you see before the breaking through uh, in bronchitis before the rupturing and after rupturing into the nearest bronchitis is a level of purulent um, spot uh, so you see here now the uh, um, two are cavities and also you see here is big cavity formated uh, it's uh, this pneumonia uh, after pneumonia formated several abscesses uh, small abscesses which rounded which formated the big one big abscesses and also you see uh, in uh, um, surrounded tissue and uh, other which uh, are non damaged part of lungs they have hyper airness condition uh, to compensate this uh, um, this uh, pathological um, focus and also you see cavity with fibrin and thrombotic masses uh, masses and sclerotic scars from prior pneumonia also and also you see very thick cavity formation this is lung abscesses next pathological condition is bronchial ectasis or uh, pathological bronchial dilation of uh, dilation of bronchus persistent uh, reversible expansion branches of the bronchi tree uh, due to the destruction of the walls of bronchi and or violation of neuromuscular tone due to inflammation sclerosis dystrophy hypoplasy of their structural structural elements and there are uh, according to forms of bronchial dilation they have circular form or cylindrical form of bronchial ectasis or varicose form and uh, according to prevalence of process may be unilateral one side or bilateral and process uh, due to process phases may be exacerbation or remission uh, etiology is very rich uh, bronchial ectasis may develop after infection of a lower respiratory tract infection or abscess pneumonia in adults or after tuberculosis formated obstructive uh, the foreign body of tumor external airway compressions or may uh, result in inhalation uh, injuries like inhalation of toxins irritative gases and etc or by aspiration in gastroesophageal reflux diseases or develop after aspiration pneumonia or uh, most of cases uh, uh, bronchial ectasis in childhood uh, connected with genetically determined or congenital anomalies anomalies like uh, hypoplasia or um, uh, uh, monia uh, uh, syndrome for example in monia syndrome uh, enlarged not only bronchitis also may enlarging uh, enlarged um, tracheas uh, all, of course this is um, may, m many uh, large amount of bronchial ectasis connected with alpha 1 intertipsin deficiency uh, or may uh, develop due to chronic diffuse lung diseases uh, uh, for example sarcoidosis or collagenosis or uh, may uh, sometimes develop uh, in uh, unknown mechanism or idiopathic inflammatory disorders there are stages of bronchial damaging of course the superficial bronchitis uh, when uh, uh, all bronchitis uh, mm, are involve only superficial or mucous membrane of bronchitis then pembronchitis and peribronchitis occur when inflammatory process include uh, cover cover whole uh, bronchial uh, wall layers and uh, which formation of deforming bronchitis and bronchial ectasis enlargement of bronchitis bronchial ectasis developed mainly in the small bronchitis and um, from uh, taking history you can find out uh, frequent respiratory disease in previous diseases bronchitis repeated acute pneumonia sometimes carried over in early childhood patient had uh, um, very unique complaints 
cuff with a discharge of uh, mucopurulent or purulent sputum. Sputum sometimes with an unpleasant odor leaves mostly in morning after waking up and also in certain drainage position of body, for example lying on a uh, healthy side. Amount of sputum depends on the phase of the disease and ranges from 30 ml for example in remission to 100 to 500 ml or more in the acute or exacerbation phase. Hemoptysis occur uh, in patient with 25 uh, in 25-34% of patient. Fever uh, mm, and intoxication syndrome, headache, sweating, poor appetite, weight loss, fatigue, fatigue decrease, uh, performance, and all sometimes may occur chest pain, uh, uh, usually with the development of perifocal pneumonia and including uh, involving of um, pleura. Uh, examination sometimes reveals a lack in physical development of patient if bronchial is formed in childhood and the later stages of disease with pronounced con um, uh, concomitant emphysema of lungs, uh, puffness of face, cyanosis and emphysematous form of chest are noted. The terminal phalanges of fingers and shape uh, uh, of the nails can change, taking the form of drumstick and uh, watch glasses. It depends with the chronic, um, chronic hypoxia condition. Uh, chest percussion data may vary uh, in the presence of perifocal pneumonia. A dullness of percussion sound is found. This pronounced emphysema of lungs, a box sound is noted, a low location and a decrease in the mobility of the lower edge of lungs. A tympanic sound is sometimes determined over large bronchial artesis. On auscultation, uh, heart breathing is heard. In the case of concomitant bronchitis, above the area of bronchial ectasis, dry and moist, usually fine and medium bubbly rails are determined. Uh, laboratory uh, diagnosis gives us a changing of blood tests with exacerbation of leukocytosis, neutrophilic shift, increasing ESR, sometimes anemia. Hypoproteinemia also may develop, um, which uh, result in the losing of proteins uh, um, uh, through sputum and uh, uh, violation of protein synthesis in the liver due to intoxication. A seroactive protein rises and microscopically uh, we can find out uh, find out any microbes and uh, biochemical blood test uh, sometimes give us in case of decreasing uh, alpha-1 interleukin decrease and alpha-1 fraction of serum globulin serum globulins instrumental diagnosis for uh, bronchial ectasis we can very large we can use x-ray bronchography bronchoscopy ct scans pyrometry test of course the gold standard uh, nowadays is ct scan but pre previously we use bronchial bronchography and bronchoscopy test x-ray uh, uh, shows areas of ethylectasis pneumosclerosis, pneumosclerosis, increased bronchopulmonary pattern as a result of peribronchial sclerosis and accumulation of secretion in the bronchi. Term rails, this is characteristic syndrome, uh, pair of strips of the thickened wall of bronchi, you see. <clears throat> Affected segment <clears throat> Uh, or loop is reduced in size, um, um, the bronchi and vessels in the affected area are brought together. together. Perhaps a displacement of the mediastinum towards the lesion, high standing of diaphragm. Uh, ring shadows, uh, uh, long uh, uh, ring shadows you see, and trim, trim rails. This is characteristic X-ray symptom for bronchial ectasis. Bronchography is a, a very good method. Before bronchography, of course, you should uh, clean the bronchial tree by bronchial bronchoscopy. And uh, here uh, you see sucked uh, bronchial ectasis. On the left part, also you see it here on right side, this is normal bronchial tree, left side you see bronchial ectasis, enlargement of bronchitis. Uh, 
Bronchoscopy allows to assess the severity of bronchitis as well as to identify a typical symptom of expansion of distal bron bronchi, um, sul sign, um, <clears throat> placent area bubbles in the circumference of the bronchi mouth filled with pus, more from the basal segment of the lower loop. In addition, uh, bronchoscopic examination allows taking the contents of the bronchi for uh, cytological, bacteriological investigations. CT scan is the main diagnostic research matter, method. This is gold standard. Double excess of width of bronchi, uh, bronchus over the vessels indicates dilation, uh, the so-called ring syndrome. Uh, the ring is the lumen of uh, bronchus, the stone is the vessel. Lack of narrowing of uh, bronchus towards the periphery syndrome, tramways. And I end my lecture, I finished my lecture. Wish you strong health, my dears.